tiny, tiny plank. The choice begins now. No matter the weapon, no matter the season, the choice is simple. Just hunt. Featuring North America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicky, and the posse. Hey, welcome to this week's The Choice, and well, this week is we're doing, we're packing the we're wilderness. We're going we're, back north. We're going back to Alaska. Yep, we're going north to Alaska. Well, yeah. We're it's, going up to Wade's. My, Renfro's my Alaskan year, Adventures. You're how, how many years? My three-year quest for my three brown years. bear. So in other words, I went up there the first year. I shot my really big brown bear. bear, monster bear. Yes, it was beautiful. The first time, my first attempt. Yes. The first time that the guys were hunting and got What results. are you saying? How many years has it taken you? Nice, quiet. Hey, this week's lucky logo is the plain old gun guard. If you happen to see it at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do with that. So should yeah, we just yeah. go ahead and roll with the footage? Let's not we waste any time stuff. because, well, on any wilderness hunt, it takes a lot of preparation. It does. But, you know, you've got a lot to do. You've got to be mentally and, and physically prepared for it. So let's go north. So let's go. To Alaska. I'm right above it. See it? That was your you last got a one, one inch group one. at a hundred. Yeah. Well, it's raining. We took off in the float plane, landed on this big lake, and now we get into this little Piper Super Cub. Randy's gonna be my pilot. He's gonna fly me and my gear up into where our camp is at, where Terry's at. He's gonna come back here, pick up Ralph and the rest of his gear. This here is a tiny, tiny plane. We made it here to camp, and it's raining, and we can't hunt until tomorrow. So, basically what I'm doing is I'm loading up my shells so that tomorrow, when we go out, we will be ready to go. Yay! North to Alaska. Boy, I sure like these noise-canceling walkers game ears. You know, let's go back on memory lane, and just to relive the experience of the guys doing what they got to do. Can you talk a little louder? You said right. You said wait. Right when he turned broadside, I put it right on his you crease. <clears throat> that hurt him. He oh, went it, right down. He went down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what a mammoth of an animal. Oh. <laughs> Oh my lord. Look at the size of that paw. <laughs> well, what can we say? An adventure, a trip, I mean, just a total 
life-changing experience. You know, we've talked about trips of a lifetime and people go, oh, another trip of a lifetime. Well, this, this truly is, you know, to, to, to come up here to Alaska, you know, to hunt with Wade Renfro, and I mean, with you, Terry, and, and, and Randy flying. Congratulations again. I know you. it was, you know. I could relive that hunt every time. I mean, I it's know, just. I know, it's cool. And you don't want to go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to see Wade's, Wade's wife, wife Jackie, Jackie, go on her brown bear hunt. So don't go see, anywhere. Like we're surrounded by women hunting brown bear lately. And? I mean, it's, Is there something it's, wrong with that? Yeah, you know what? What? I'm going back next year. Yeah. Without you. Welcome back to the choice. Now we're going to join Wade's wife, Jackie, as she goes out for her brown bear. And how come it always seems they always get them in like three days and when you and I go up there, it's like eight or ten or three years. Ah. <laughs> What's wrong with That's the hot. <laughs> we were around the mountains and we saw this beautiful bear. It's across the way. We're going to go and get it. We've got to hurry. So we're going to go and do that right now. I totally understand hunting. <laughs> I just see on the thrill. This is great. I'm, I'm excited. I was said I was excited before, but this this is probably better than Disney World. <laughs> this was great. This right here is a huge accomplishment. Just sitting right here next to the bear. I have like a huge phobia of bears. To see a bear alive in the water and then dead, it's just, it's it's mind blowing. It's just, it's intense. It's intense, totally intense. <laughs> and this is, how big a bear did you say this was? Uh, it's, it's an eight foot plus bear. And... <sighs> this is great. Look at these teeth on him. Look at his paws. They're just huge and heavy. They're so heavy. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, not worn down or anything. They're just beautiful, beautiful chocolate feet and some blonde up here. And oh man, I couldn't have asked for anything more. I couldn't have. This is this has just been a trip of a lifetime. And I live with a guide. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Jackie. That was awesome. Did you see that? They go on a float boat, on yep. a little floating boat. How cool and was she that? She gets that awesome bear. Well, you know what, just so you know, hmm. the next time I go on is going to be a float trip down the river when all the salmon and everything. Uh, that's so cool. You know you what know, they what? say, floats downstream. Hey, you don't want to go anywhere when we come back. We're going to go back over memory lane. We're going to do lane. some memory lanes of Vicky. Yeah. Numerous, numerous hours and days and oh, weeks. Oh, would you just be quiet? The... Don't go anywhere. Come right back to the choice. Yeah. Just finish now, the ball, would you? This is Joe's. Don't mess with it. I'm getting center shots. It's three quarters of an inch. <laughs> yeah, it is Joe's. Should we? <laughs> Let's book yeah. it. Out. You know, I pick on Vicky a lot, but the reality of it is, is going on a wilderness hunt like that, especially up there, you have, you see numerous bears. And I mean, every year, without a shadow of a doubt, we've seen a lot of bears. It's just sometimes when you have that mindset you want to try with the bow, you've got to pass up a lot of opportunities. Yeah. On the bottom there. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go see if yeah. Right then, we don't know where he went. <laughs> and squeeze the trigger. Ooh. He just fell in a hole.
she was so close that first year and then the second year, well... It's almost like we're gonna have to let him go until he gets to the brown spot here. Yeah. I mean, that's where, like maybe our conversion zone because our wind. it's too iffy right now. It's 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 good and then it's bad. It's good and then it's bad. eight o'clock right now about seven o'clock we spotted a bear we were sitting up on the top of that hillside there and spider one come out of the, the ravine over there way yonder we decided to put a spot stock on him yeah we knew the wind was going to be difficult at best yeah so we, you get you and ralph and I, we just kind of discussed everything and you guys decided we're gonna go straight at him just made a beeline and for do him. our best for it and what happened was is we did our best we got almost within muzzleloader range yeah. The wind shifted, went right to him. He boogied out. You did your good job. You got us out of there to make sure that we weren't in his way any, any way how, right? Yep. And we saw him run over the hill. We saw him go. Getting out of town, change his zip code. So. Which is kind of what I want to do right now because the bugs are nasty. The bugs are bad. Let's get going. Let's just keep going. I see camps only like a mile and a half. Let's go. I really love those wilderness hunts. Get so close sometimes. And, but And yet so far. And that's yep. why I decided last year when we were getting ready to go, I talked to you about I wanted to get an Icon 300 with Mag and... That's what I did. Hmm. So now you don't want to go anywhere because when we come back, we'll see if I let that icon bark. The story continues. <laughs> Welcome back to the choice. I have to say that this year up there in Alaska, we decided that they were going to start calling them hab bears, high altitude bears. Every bear we saw was on they the were, top of the mountain range. But it was also a very unique year. It was. I mean, the fish weren't in the streams like they normally were. Right, and we couldn't unique up on them. Get it? Unique up on them? The bears because they were so high up there we couldn't get them okay let's just roll the footage oh. get it unique up on them they were oh, up high altitude. i got it We did it. We climbed the mountain. We climbed the mountain, chased the bear. Bear went over the top. He's still walking. He's walking. We have no idea where he went. We climbed up after, we climbed around up over the top of this mountain. He should have been right here, and he's not. Yeah, I think he made, I think he stayed high and went left. And over the so? next saddle. Yeah. Oh so. my gosh. Water and you told me not to shoot him in the water. But at this situation, we had it's a shallow creek, we had to take him. Okay, well, let's go thing. get him. Let's, let's get him. Get him. Yeah. Please, let's do let's it. Let's my go backpack.
<laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But ah, look at this fur. Oh my gosh. I mean, he landed in the water, but I honestly was going to give up. This nah, is my I third know. time coming up here. We've had close calls over and over and, and over. And I honestly. Persistence and your attitude has always been good. And, and, and he's beautiful. He's got that gristle <laughs> color to him. And he was in the water. And Terry, thank you again. <laughs> You're welcome. This what is another like, great hunt with you guys. Is, what a dream come true. Yep. I mean, I never thought I would. I don't you know, know, and, year after year, I never thought it would happen. It's and, amazing how different each animal is. This one has I mean, the longest him. fur. The longest fur. Look at his head. Nice. Look at the size critter. of his head. His claws. Look at, look his, at those beautiful Look claws. at these pads. Look at these claws and pads. Can you see that? I mean, I mean at, that is me. just. His claws are as long as your fingers. Yeah, look at that. Can you see that? Oh that my is gosh. Beautiful. He is just, look at that! Jeez! <laughs> I guess I really didn't look at him sideways. Yeah. Thank the big guy up above because without him, this yeah. creature here would not be possible. Oh my gosh. And I know, when you say that Are you though, excited? Are you excited? I know, but when you say that, then all of a sudden I start crying again because I can't believe that I did this. That's one heck of an accomplishment, girl. I am pretty darn proud of myself. You know what I mean? I'm proud of you. I, I seriously thought on this trip after those high altitude bears, I didn't think it was going to happen because, yep. you know, we've gone sheep hunting and I told you I never go sheep hunting again. <laughs> Mountains kill me. I'm not kidding. I mean, you can be in shape. They just, you know, we live in flatland Illinois. Yep. That's just the way it is. And I let my icons just bark at it. And it, and you nailed him. Yeah. I don't, you probably didn't even need that second shot. But the thing was is in that situation on a, on a dangerous animal such as that, if you That's could what put it in. Terry said. He said, you just keep shooting till it doesn't move. And I said, okay. And we really have to thank Terry. You know, yes. that's, he, persistence pays and he's, he's, he was our coach and our captain. Absolutely. We want and to thank Wade, Wade at Renfro's Alaskan Adventures. I mean, without him, none of that would have been, you know, Absolutely. possible. And of course, we want to thank you guys for watching this show. Yep. And don't forget the Plano logo. Oh, that's right. If you happen to see the gun guard, the Plano gun guard, you need to log on to thechoicetv.com. Someone's going to win a Plano, or yeah, Plano gun case yep. and some other goodies. You just got to go to the website to check it out. So thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Congratulations. Thank you.